Hey guys, this is Grandmaster Eugene Perlstein for ChessOpeningsExplained.com and I want to share with you a model victory played recently by my student with a Grand Prix attack. Now the Grand Prix attack is the opening that I recommend to everyone against the Sicilian defense. This specific game went knight c3, d6. Sometimes I've seen g6, knight c6, um, they usually may transpose to the same type of position as the move d6 in the game. Another thing I should point out that e6 and a6 would result in a totally different plan for white. So you should definitely go to my website chessopeningsexplained.com and look at how we handle this other plan in Sicilian. But let's focus on this game. d6, f4, g6, knight f3, bishop g7. So this is typically the recommended setup, kind of like a dragon formation. But notice that we don't play the move d4 at all. Bishop b5 check. The main point of this check is if black plays bishop d7, now we drop to c4. This is the type of Grand Prix that we want to play as white. Now you may wonder why do we need that check to begin with? And the reason is it's vital to stop the enemy um, idea of playing e6 d5 and notice the bishop is going to be blocking the queen who is supporting the d5 push so that's vital to insert this plan and then the idea is to attack like what happened in the game in this specific case rather than bishop d7 or knight c6 black plays knight to d7 we don't care that's the beauty of this opening you just go for the plan the plan is the following you're gonna trade the bishop for the knight play d3 creating the beautiful attacking pawn chain later you're gonna play for f5 the pawn chain remember how i taught you guys you create an arrow it points to the king side that's where the attack is coming bishop c6 queen e1 transferring the queen over to h4 to support the attack knight f6 queen h4 castles this is exactly the star position for white we know how to attack from here the winning plan is f5, bishop h6, right, to trade the only key defender of the king. Then knight g5 together with the queen, knight, and bishop. And then the rook is going to join the party. White has a death star formation. Powerful weapon against the Sicilian. All right, so what does black do? In this case, after f5, my student's opponent plays b5. Typical idea is to use this pawn chain to get counterplay. Unfortunately, it's not enough. Bishop h6, b4. Now knight transfers to the king side. Rook e8. This is a very common idea to try to escape, but the attack is still quite strong. Knight g5, bishop h8. And now at first it looks like our pieces are a little bit stuck. It's hard to get to h7. There's a knight there. But I really like what my student is doing here. Pawn takes, pawn takes. And now this is a beautiful outpost for our e2 knight let's keep this knight attacking h7 so knight f4 and knight f to e6 is the plan that's exactly what happens in this game now queen's under attack queen d7 and here everything is ripe for a combination a combination usually invo involves a sacrifice in this case we need to get to h7 so why don't you guys take a moment here and pause the video and see if you can find a beautiful way to sacrifice the bishop and the rook in order to give checkmate again if you need more time go ahead and pause the video and the beautiful idea is bishop g7 black says haha thanks for the free bishop now rook takes knight and after you take back either with the pawn or the bishop in this game pawn takes white delivers checkmate again these knights are key without the knights checkmate would be impossible and I think everybody already knows the answer. Queen takes h7. It's a 20 move miniature. Absolutely fantastic idea. And yet another model game in one of my favorite openings, the Grand Prix Attack. If you really enjoyed this video, please check out my website, chessopeningsexplained.com to learn more about White's way to kill the Sicilian. Thank you very much. This was Grandmaster. Eugene Perlstein.